are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another bonus video Friday. I've been doing a lot of bonus videos lately because A, I am at home so I have more time on my hands and B, I'm trying to give y'all extra content as a way to keep you busy and entertained during this season. I often film bonus videos week of but then other videos I film sometimes more than a month in advance so my whole posting schedule feels so out of whack with how frequently things are changing in the world. So sorry in advance if some videos seem not relevant to what's going on, but it's just my workflow and it's just not really the most ideal right now. But I thought it could be a fun bonus video. I have pulled my 10 favorite beauty products of all time. And I wanna do like a show and tell and show them to you and tell you why I love them. This is not sponsored by any of these brands. These are things that I think if someone told me to pack a bag of 10 beauty things, these are the 10 things I would pack and take with me on a trip. I have skincare, hair care, and makeup. So without further ado, let's get into my favorite beauty products. Let's start with skincare. I actually pulled two masks and not a face wash, but I'm just really obsessed with both of these face masks right now. And I've been doing a lot of face masks being stuck at home. I have said this in another video, but I, I've been joking that I think we're all gonna come out of this with just the best skin because I've seen all my friends on Instagram doing face masks like every day. It's a thing right now. So I have a kind of extracting favorite face mask and then like a calming hydrating favorite face mask. And my favorite clarifying mask is this one from BioClarity. It is the Pore Purifier with Floralex Tea Tree and Aloe. And this is one of those that gets like dry and crackly, but you can also see where your pores are, the stuff that is kind of pulled out. When the surface of the mask dries, it becomes a lighter color, but your pores stay a darker color, I think from the oil and such that is being purified. So it feels very satisfying. And a lot of times the masks that are more like purifying tend to break me out. And this one doesn't break me out. That's just my personal experience, which is why I have loved it. That is my one go-to mask when I feel like I'm going to break out because it helps to prevent that. And on the other hand, my skin has been kind of on the dry side lately. And I recently got this for my birthday but I've been using it so frequently. My friend gave it to me from Youth to the People. She works there. This is the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. It is very very similar to the Jet Lag Mask by Summer Fridays but I haven't read the ingredients on that one. I just know that this is like a very clean, pure brand. So I would assume that this might be a cleaner alternative. Don't quote me on that. I'm not making any claims there. It's just my assumptions. I also like to support the company that she works for and I have loved this. I've loved it. Even just my nose gets a lot drier than the rest of my face. So even just the other night, I could tell that my nose was starting to get dry. So I've put it on on my nose and you could sleep with it overnight. It's almost like a super intense overnight cream more than it is a mask and you wash it off in the morning and it has done wonders to my skin. My skin has been a lot less flaky. So I have loved that. And then one other skincare favorite. I'm so sad for when this is gonna be gone. This is my second bottle and this is on the pricey side. Both times I was sent these so I haven't ever purchased it for myself. This is one of the things that I think is above my personal price range. So I am gonna have this internal conflict of really wanting to repurchase it, but probably talking myself out of it. But it is still one of my favorites by Fresh. It's the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. The point of it is to help, it says anti-pollution. So I think to help your skin not break out from pollution. It also says age delay. It says it increases moisture for a radiant, lustrous complexion, has daily antioxidants and anti-pollution protection, which help prevent premature signs of skin aging. So for me, I think it just makes my skin feel like hydrated and plump and healthy without using like retinols or things that could be still very helpful, but can be a little bit more intense. It's like a less intense version. So I've loved it and I'm so sad for when it's gonna be gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do when that happens. Ask for it for a special occasion maybe. Let's move on to my two hair care picks and then I will show you my makeup picks. But for my hair care, my friend Anna, who is a hairstylist, recommended that I try Kristen S, which I love that Kristen S is sold at Target because it's very easily accessible. And I have loved their shampoo, their conditioner, and some of their other products as well. But I've been using their shampoo and their conditioner almost every time I 
wash my hair except for maybe about once a month I'll use a purple shampoo and conditioner which I've talked about in another video but this is the one that I use most frequently it's just called the one and I use the same the one of the shampoo and the conditioner and it feels like it cleans so well and it smells so good and the conditioner is just very hydrating and easy to brush through your hair in the shower don't look at my hair right now I haven't styled it in maybe five weeks I haven't done it in a long time <laughs> I haven't been leaving the house much <laughs> but it does make my hair feel very healthy which I appreciate and I am the biggest dry shampoo lover in the world and I've tried so many dry shampoos and my favorite is just Batiste I don't think that they're necessarily the cleanest brand in fact I I know that they're really not yeah at least the starch in here is derivative from rice instead of from wheat so I appreciate that but it smells very clean and it is really potent like it just works really well I spray this in my roots and I rub it in and then I only wash my hair every like four to five days so even though it might not be the cleanest brand it is just the one that works best for me without being a million dollars so I've really loved it oh this is kind of in the skincare world this is a good transition between skincare and makeup because it's somewhere in between but this is my favorite lash serum I know people love Latisse and Latisse is so expensive how much is it like I don't even know definitely well over a hundred dollars like 180 in that price range not exactly sure so I know it works well but I'm not gonna spend that kind of money this is even a splurge for me and this is like less than half the price of Latisse I believe this is sold for about $60 it's the Grande Lash MD but it does last me forever I honestly don't know how it lasts so long it lasts me probably eight months and it lasts a long time too this doesn't expire for another year and a half which is great so every single night has this little pencil tip and I just rub it above my eyelashes almost like I'm applying a liquid eyeliner and I have seen great results in my eyelashes. I had the stubbiest little eyelashes. My eyelashes aren't great, but let me give you a close up. There's definitely been significant improvement in like the length and the fullness and it's just really made a difference. So this has been a big saving grace. I, for a while, did eyelash extensions, which are so bad for your lashes, so expensive, such like an upkeep hassle. It was bad. So I feel like I have a very similar but more natural look to the types of eyelash extensions I got. And this is the cost of like one appointment to get a fill. So definitely worth the money. It just takes about a month or two to really start seeing results. So you have to have patience. Okay, now makeup. Okay, I kind of bunched two for one because they're basically the same thing, but the foundation and the concealer version. I would probably just stick with the foundation if you actually made me limit it to 10 products and I couldn't show both of these, but I have loved Too Faced Born This Way foundation and concealer. They recently changed their concealer. It used to be different, but now it's this like massive bottle. It's like a very short and stout container, which I think is funny. It almost looks like foundation. But for me, it's the perfect amount of coverage. I don't want like full, full coverage to where I look too glam too done up. I like a little bit of like natural complexion to it, but I don't want like the Glossier foundation where it's essentially not really doing anything. I want a happy medium and I really think that this does that and I love it. Um, I'm the shade Nude, if that helps at all. And then their concealer, I feel the same way. Their concealer is maybe slightly more on the full coverage side compared to other concealers, but I still really like it. It blends really easy. I use it every day under my eyes and then a little bit on my chin and kind of spot treat wherever I have any spots. And it works great. I love it. I've been using it for probably three years now. My favorite mascara ever is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I am very picky about mascaras very picky like for example i really liked the way that the better than sex mascara applied but i hated the way it would wear it would just kind of flake or leave a little bit of residue under my eyes as the day went on and i was not about that but i like that lights camera lashes is very buildable and very natural it doesn't get too clumpy i'm wearing it today and after a few coats i feel like it lengthens and it wears great it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge it doesn't rub i love it and my final two favorite beauty products are both 
e.l.f. from Glossier. I have loved this lid star, which is in Moon. The first time I applied it, I thought it was a little bit light, but I applied just a little bit and rubbed it around, which is kind of not how you do it. You, you have to be pretty generous, pretty liberal with the amount you apply, and then just kind of like blot it around instead of rub it around, but it is a very nice nude shimmery color and I'm wearing it on my eyelids today. And what I do normally to just kind of make my makeup routine easier is I will apply this over my whole lid and then I'll go in either with the darker of this lid star or with one of my favorite palettes and I'll just use one other color kind of in the corner of my eyelid and blend that together. And that's all I do for my eyeshadow is just a one, two and I'm done and it's really easy. So I love that, it's been a great base and I almost feel like it kind of works as a primer in a way because it's a little bit tacky. So whatever color I use in the corner of my lids wears better throughout the day. It's like a win-win. And last but not least is the Halo Scope. I had some ladies comment on one of my videos saying that I was distracting because I looked too shiny and I thought it was so funny because I'm like that's on purpose. I love the dewy natural look. I was like girl you can't stop my glow <laughs> and I, I love it. Like I love having a highlight on my cheek and I do get oily and greasy as the day goes on like my forehead gets shinier but I never really reapply powder. I know that it's probably just a trend right now and like matte was a trend and dewy is the thing right now so I'm sure my preferences will change over time but right now I'm loving that dewy is a thing and I love that halo scope is so easy and natural to apply. This is what it looks like on my fingers. Just very natural, hydrating. I like this better than a powder because it doesn't look artificial under bright lighting. It does just kind of look like healthy glowy skin. So I use this every single day on my cheekbones and then I'll do a little on my cupid's bow on the tip of my nose and then under my brow bone every day. So those are my top 10 beauty products from skincare to hair care to makeup. It's really hard to choose though because there's a lot of things that I really love and feel like I can't live without. But hopefully that was at least interesting or fun to you. If you have any favorite products, tell me down below because I always love to try things out, change up my routine, add to it, and then maybe let the rest of the viewers know what I think about it. So let me know a couple of your favorite can't live without beauty products. I think that's a fun thing to chat about, something lighthearted. And I love y'all so much. There's a vlog coming out tomorrow. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and washing your hands. And I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.